Welcome. This video has some technical details about the hovercraft that I thought would be helpful to see on video. And for even more detail, go to my website, DeLoreanHovercraft.com. Okay, I just want to explain the cockpit real quick. Um, got all your light switches here. Anti-gravity is for the lights under the tires. Flux capacitor for the colored lights under the hull. Cockpit lights, navigation lamps, keep the Coast Guard happy, headlights, Mr. Fusion, not connected to anything yet. Uh, this is ignition for the thrust, ignition for lift, throttle control for the lift, choke control for lift, choke control for thrust, tachometer for lift, tachometer for the thrust. GP, digital GPS speedometer and fuel gauge, which uh, I don't even really use anymore. It's not exact enough to be very helpful, but technically works. Um, yeah, steering wheel can be removed. If you have a passenger, you're going to want to move the seats here and here so that you balance out the weight and have the steering wheel in there. But if you're by yourself, stick the steering wheel in there. Um, so real quick, I'll show you the lights. Um, so we got these cool colored scrolling LEDs. There's an app on your phone. You can connect to a Wi-Fi controller that's in there and change the lights. You want green, you want blue, you want red, white. You can customize functions here. Um, there's that one. There's the A's, <laughs> green and yellow, giants, orange and black. Um, the thing is, there's two strands that come from the, the front all the way down to the back and meet here. Um, but the data signal gets corrupted right here. So the signal will come over here, and then over here, it'll just kind of do whatever it wants. So you can still put on a light show, but it's not as easily controlled as before. Uh, I assume there's a way to open that up and fix that LED thing, but um, you'll have to figure that out. So this is the, the console is hold on, held on by magnets here. And uh, back here you got your fuse fuse system and the circuit breaker right here controls the fuse panel and there's another circuit breaker right here that controls the uh, power to the uh, thrust engine starter so you can turn that off when you're working on it um, and then power goes to solenoid for the lift engine regular lawnmower battery wires going back here from the accessory circuit the power this stuff power uh, fuel pump fuel sender GPS, speedometer, uh, fuel gauge, and um, and then some of the wires go back in this conduit, along with the steering cable and choke control, throttle control cables. Yeah, I want to give you a close up of the leather texture on the armrests and door panels, cast from a mold I made of the real DeLorean. You can. Uh, have the molds if you want to make a new one someday. So this is the control switch for the light pattern. You can you can turn it off from here if you want, um, but mostly you're just going to use this for mode. So if you change the mode, see right now it's just slow flashing. You can change it to uh, strobe or whatever. A bunch of different modes and a bunch of different speeds. So I just leave it at the one I like, and I don't even mess with it. And this will just turn it on and off. It'll keep the same mode. Dashboard is here. This, this slides in there, and uh, it's held on with these Velcro tabs. But you're going to want to remove it when you're working on stuff and when you're on the freeway. Uh, try it so it doesn't blow away. I want to show you the windshield. I haven't been using this very much lately, uh, but because it limits visibility, 
um, but it's nice to not get as wet sometimes. So you can decide if you want to use it and it just pops in here and there's these marine cabinet hardware that fold, fold it in. And that's how that works. This lift engine guard I made recently pops out real easy. So it makes maintenance way simpler than it was before. And uh, so I made a new uh, air intake here that, that, yeah, makes all the maintenance easier. Everything's open and you can see it and clean it and everything. Those are the splitter pipes that direct air to the skirt. This is the new skirt. I want to explain this here. Uh, for years I had a skirt that was completely clear vinyl with no uh, fibers reinforcing it. And so you could see, see everything. All the light would come through. Um, as you can see in some of the videos, it looks super cool. Uh, but it's dangerous because if there's a ho hole that happens, then it can just, the hole can spread and get really big and then you lose hover power. So I made this new skirt with with this stuff. It's it's more like translucent. You can see through it, but a lot of the light gets blocked by the fibers. So it's still translucent. You can still see light coming through. You can still see on the video with all the, the colorings, scrolling lights. It lights up this thing really well at night. Um, I just want to let you know that's different than in some of the videos. Um, the tires here are held on with these zip ties. And I got electrical connectors here that power the lights. Um, let me show you what it looks like underneath there. Um, got your registration, keep it updated. Uh, show you the thrust motor. It's 23 horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Um, did a bunch of work on it recently. Uh, you got your fuel shut off valve. Electric starter, um, this fancy uh, engine cover I made, Velcro's on here. Um, fuel system, we got a three gallon tank in here. And the way you change, uh, fill up the tank when you need to is, uh, well this, this cinches down, holds it in place. You just loosen that up. And pop this quick disconnect off. Easy with two hands, but there you go. And then this slides out, and you can refill it. That's a water separator filter just installed. You're going to want to use uh, gasoline with no ethanol if possible because uh, water can dissolve in the ethanol and create problems. All right, what else? I got new stainless steel door lifts. These rudders are brand new. Uh, I made them stronger than the other ones, and um, these bolts can be removed. They're threaded into an aluminum tube in here with a bunch of thread locker in here, and so you could, could remove it if you needed to. Um, they should be really solid. Oh, the whole rudder thing can be removed if you take out these four nuts and undo the turnbuckle that tightens, you can see that turnbuckle that tightens the steering cable. You can just pop the whole rudder system off and um, like if you needed to get the fan out or anything like that. The paint job is new. Um, it had some delamination in the fiberglass because if, if you leave it out in the sun on a hot day, the fiberglass, there can be little bubbles that form. You can see there's some small ones over here. And so that had happened over the years. And so I fixed all that and uh, um, repainted it. So it's nice and shiny. The thrust engine, I did some work on it too. New voltage regulator, new carburetor, new alternator that I potted in epoxy resin. So you can forget about it behind the flywheel. It's not gonna rust. Uh, new magnetos, new wiring, new muffler, um, 
yeah, so this engine, uh, I also replaced the head gasket recently, so that engine is good to go. Patch the deck. There were some areas that had a, like a crack or something and water got in and so I had to replace some of the door skin plywood that's under here. A lot of that has been actually replaced over the years with core mat. Um, it's kind of a thick fiberglass. And so um, I can show you how to patch things if you need to. It's pretty fun, pretty easy. Uh, interesting work. It's all just styrofoam and fiberglass, so it's easy to fix if something, if something happens. If you crash, it'll just crumple, and then you just pour new foam on it and fiberglass it. Um, what else we got? Uh, the doors are held down by these uh, latches. When you're trailering or you just want the doors locked, that's how that happens. Super simple. Uh, these are real DeLorean grills here and side marker lights. That logo is real, but it usually is on the hood. And this is a real DeLorean logo too. Yeah, so that's which, what I thought would be helpful to see on video. There'll be more technical information uh, on the website, just a bunch of random details. Now check out the clip of how to use the trailer. So once you get it set up, it's actually really easy. You just turn on the hover motor and it floats off. You can do this by yourself. Just keep a hand on it and it's actually really easy to move around. At some points you might need to lift up on the back um, to help it along, but you'll see it's pretty easy. Here we go. corner of the hole and, and then you hook on your ratcheting strap on one end and do the same thing on the other end and swing it on hook it in and tighten it down and that's it you do the same thing on the back and you lock the doors down make sure your pin is in the trailer here so it won't tilt and you're good to go so hopefully you can see it's all custom made to make this really easy and efficient. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So thank you. Enjoy your, your DeLorean.